Have you ever wondered if the quiet corners of a library could be the perfect dwelling for the supernatural? Libraries, with their centuries-old tomes and quiet, eerie silence, offer a fitting backdrop for ghostly encounters. Think about it. Ancient libraries house not only books, but countless stories of the past, perhaps even spirits lingering from bygone eras. The vast collection of knowledge could very well be a magnet for spectral entities. Today, we delve into the chilling tales of the world's most haunted libraries. Libraries with their centuries-old books and hushed whispers have been brewing ghost stories since time immemorial. Libraries are not just repositories of knowledge, but also of history and, some say, spiritual energy. They've been a cornerstone of civilization, playing host to countless scholars, writers and readers over the centuries. With such a rich and vibrant past, it's no wonder that tales of the supernatural have emerged from these hallowed halls. From the Bodleian Library in Oxford to the Willard Library in Indiana, stories of spectral sightings have been whispered amongst the bookshelves. There's the Grey Lady of the New York Public Library, the spectral monks of the Abbey Library of St. Gall in Switzerland, and the ghostly librarian of the Peckham Library in London, to name just a few. Each tale is steeped in history, a chilling narrative woven into the fabric of the library itself. But the question remains, are these tales mere fiction or do they carry a hint of truth? Considered one of the most haunted libraries in the world, the Willard Library in Evansville, Indiana has its share of ghostly visitors. The Willard Library isn't just famous for its vast collection of books, but also for a resident ghost known as the Grey Lady. This grand old building with its Victorian Gothic architecture was constructed in the late 19th century by philanthropist Willard Carpenter. The library opened its doors to the public in the year 1885, but it wasn't until 70 years later that the Grey Lady made her first spectral appearance. In the year 1955, a custodian working the night shift reported a chilling encounter with a woman in grey. She was seen wandering the library's basement, her ethereal presence marked by a sudden drop in temperature and an inexplicable smell of musk. Over the years, numerous library staff and visitors have reported similar encounters, adding to the legend of the Grey Lady. The reactions to these sightings have ranged from bone-chilling fear to intrigue. Some have fled the library never to return, while others have been drawn to the mystery, attempting to communicate with the ghostly figure. Despite numerous investigations, the identity of the Grey Lady remains a mystery. Is she a former librarian, or perhaps the daughter of Willard Carpenter himself, forever bound to the library? But the story doesn't end here. The Grey Lady continues to haunt the library till date. Numerous attempts have been made to unravel the mystery of the Grey Lady, but to no avail. Over the years, a slew of investigators seasoned in the paranormal have dared to step into the eerie silence of the Willard Library, hoping to finally put a name to the enigmatic apparition. They have spent countless nights, armed with infrared cameras and EVP recorders, trying to capture some evidence of her ethereal existence. The library staff, too, have their fair share of ghostly encounters to recount. Tales of books flying off shelves, eerie whispers in the dead of the night, and the sudden chill that descends upon certain sections of the library have become part of the lore. But it's not just the investigators and the staff. Even visitors have reportedly seen the Grey Lady floating through the labyrinth of bookshelves, her spectral form shimmering in the dim light. The Willard Library, in its own unique way, has embraced its spectral resident. They've installed ghost cams around the library, giving ghost enthusiasts around the world a chance to spot the Grey Lady from the comfort of their homes. They even host annual Grey Lady Ghost Tours, where brave souls can walk the same aisles that the Grey Lady is said to haunt. Despite the chilling occurrences, the Willard Library continues to welcome bibliophiles and ghost hunters alike. Haunted libraries across the globe continue to be a fascinating blend of history, mystery and the supernatural. From the uncanny idea of haunted libraries to their historical significance, our journey has been nothing short of intriguing. We delved into the eerie tales of the Willard Library, a place where the line between the living and the dead seems blurred. The enduring enigma surrounding these buildings is a testament to our collective fascination with the unknown. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, these haunted libraries certainly add an intriguing layer to the world of literature. After all, who wouldn't enjoy a good ghost story?